uh, first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the really lovely messages in the last few days. Clearly, the, the, the news is out that, uh, that Baggins, my, my beloved dog, has, has passed away. It was last week. Very, very sad. Uh, I've lost both my dogs in the past five weeks, actually. So it was it was uh, crazy. So, um, yeah, I pretty really appreciate all the messages. Just wanted to let you know everyone that's left messages and stuff like that. It's very, very much appreciated. It was hard. It was hard last week, actually, and particularly sort of working from home. I guess anybody that works from home and has sort of has happened to a lot of people, hasn't it, since COVID, end up working at home. You don't sort of realise how how much company the animals give, you know, they were, they were in here when I record and they're just such a massive part of your daily routine. So yeah, it's been pretty, uh, pretty devastating for myself and in particular for the kids. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for all your lovely messages. It, it, it means a lot. It really, really does. Uh, today, I just, before I want to, um, I just want to say before I get into today's video, uh, what you're going to see later is actually a, a bit of a, a bit of a laugh um, from our Patreon video. Uh, it's not all to be taken seriously. And I do want to make the point, I do like James Ward Browse. I, I think he's clearly a really nice guy. Uh, I think uh, he does have absolutely, absolutely, he has his qualities as a footballer. I just don't think we're utilising him to, to the best of his ability. I think it's not the first time West Ham have done this. I think we've gone out, we've bought a player and we're just not playing him in his best position. I just find it a weird thing to do. It's, it's, I, do you know what? It goes back to Sebastian Haller, if you want. We watch Sebastian Haller play at Frankfurt in his front three and we go and buy him and then we go and deploy him in a, as, a, as a solo striker up front and ask him to do jobs which he's clearly not equipped to do. There are numerous other examples. I Chicharito is another one, isn't it? You know, we go and buy this sort of fox in the box who clearly needs support. We don't give him any support. We let him go and basically get bullied by uh, central defenders or use him as a substitute on the wing and stuff like that. Uh, West Ham are really bad at this stuff, really, really bad at this stuff. And, and I can't help but think it's sort of happening again with, with James Ward-Prowse. And I think the problem is with the James Ward-Prowse stuff is sort of he becomes symbolic. He becomes a microcosm of what's wrong with David Moyes, if, if you like. And it sort of becomes, he becomes symbolic of the frustration. So if you sort of view David Moyes as sort of safety first and not particularly um, extravagant or exciting in the way he plays his football, then when things aren't going well, you look at Ward-Prowse and his deployment of him, and you think, oh, come on, mate, you know, give, give us give us an attacking wing, or give us a fast wing, or don't give us James Ward-Prowse in the wing, or give us someone with some vision and some goal-scoring ability as an attacking midfielder, don't give us uh, James Ward-Prowse, who really, you know, was playing quite differently at Southampton. I just, I just wonder, why go and buy this player from Southampton, then... Then do what you've done to him now. I think there's this interesting dynamic at West Ham, really, at the moment, whereby in the summer, the manager really pushed to get James Ward-Prowse. In many respects, it was his first choice signing. It was universally accepted, wasn't it? I think that that maybe Alvarez was a combination of, of quite possibly, um, you know, a few of them making a decision making, including Tim Steiton and even Mark Noble. Uh, Caduce was somebody that uh, that Tim Steiton wanted to bring in. Uh, Mavropanos was, was Steiton, obviously from uh, the Bundesliga there. But what was never in any doubt, or any argument at all, was that James Ward-Prowse was a David Moyes signing. This was the guy he wanted beyond any other. And then you factor in this situation that you've got with Calvin Phillips and this is somebody not only that David Moyes wanted above all others in the most recent transfer window but somebody that he wanted to get before he even signed for Man City we bid for him when he was at Leeds if you remember him and, and Rafinha we tried to do a little double cheeky double bid um for both of them I think the double bid might have amounted to something like 70 million so I'm not sure how cheeky that is that's just a, a lot of bloody money really isn't it but so my point is that David Moyes has really pushed for these two players. And I think, whilst I think they, they are both good players, um, certainly in the case of Calvin Phillips, it hasn't worked out. You could certainly very much argue that James Ward-Prowse has worked out. He's got lots of assists for West Ham. He's been very good for West Ham. I'm not suggesting he's a crap player. But what I think we've found, particularly in recent times, he's been deployed in a number of positions that don't suit him. So then he's performed badly, and he has performed badly. I, I, there's a lot of people, I think sometimes I do these videos, will point out, oh, I don't think you quite understand him what, what James Ward-Prowse is bringing to the team. I, I do. I, I understand he brings the work rate. I understand he brings the press in. I understand his ball retention is very good because he passes sideways and backwards. My argument is those just not the qualities I want in an attacking midfielder and the, the qualities I want in a left winger. And therefore, I think when he's been deployed in those situations, we haven't scored many goals. It's, it was no surprise when 
Mikel Antonio came back and David Moyes basically started playing a proper attacker, either left, either at left wing or attacking midfielder, rather than James Ward-Prowse there, there's no surprise that we started to score goals. And even though, I guess technically, we only scored one goal against Aston Villa, we had the ball in the back of the net a lot of times, right? Um, we, we, we certainly are, we seem to be attacking a little bit more. I still think we've got a defensive shape. I still think there's negativity there. But the team has improved with us bringing these other players in. Which I think brings focus onto, onto James Ward-Prowse. Because what happens is we're pleased to see this. Then when James Ward-Prowse is sort of brought on or he's used, it's, yeah, I, I was guilty of it in a game against Aston Villa. Looking and thinking, oh, you know, come on. Um, I just wanted a little bit more adventure. He's sort of stuck, David Moyes, because he can't use the squad. Uh, because, well, he's, he's been partly responsible for decimating the squad. Um, so there's no left winger or anything there, is there? So it was by Ben Rama and... Um, and Pablo Fornells have gone. I think G.L. will be talking about it. I'm not going to go any more into that. G.L. will be talking about that in, a, uh, I think, possibly tomorrow's video over on the main channel. Uh, but anyway, what we did as part of our player ratings, which is our, our series. Oh, excuse me. There we go. As a part of our series, which we have over on our Patreon channel. I'm going to play you a segment now from pretty much me discussing James Ward-Prowse and being a little bit silly about it. Truth be known. is So please, this, this is a little bit of silliness. So please take it with a, a large bucket of salt as well. Um, um, also, I, I understand you're going to see me doing some drawing now. Some, <laughs> Basically, you know, like Gary Neville has the tactics, but it's like that, but far worse. So uh, I, I know, by the way, I know it's useless. Uh, this is taken from our uh, our patron uh, player rating series. Uh, patron, for those of you that don't know, is a great way for you guys to support Hammers Chat. That allows us to upload on both channels daily. It allows us to do a load of free content because basically our patrons support us. What do you get for that? Well, basically, Patreon is our third Hammers Chat channel. Not only is there player ratings on there, we've got opposition previews, we have our breakfast show, we have our naked podcast, which is a, a proper old laugh and nothing to do with football, by the way. Uh, we have Analytics. We've got the Anton Ferdinand podcast. We have a lot of interviews from former players, referees, managers. Um, I, honestly, I, I, I could not even begin to list all the people that we've had over on Patreon. We've got giveaways. We've got competition. We just gave away um, a signed Areola shirt, actually, because someone um, in our prediction competition, we give stuff away every single month, tickets to games. Honestly, so much, so much value, we like to think, in our Patreon. Uh, you can go and give it a free trial if you want. We've got a seven-day free trial. Just click the link below below. It's patreon.com forward slash hammers chat. We've got three different tiers. Um, we've basically got a, a standard subscription. Uh, we have got our mild addicts. Then we've got our addicts, which also involves have been involved in a WhatsApp group, which is even more uh, silliness as well. Uh, we think it's good value. It's a great way for you guys to help support hammers chat. We greatly appreciate all of you, not just all of you that sign up to Patreon, but all of you that even have to suffer the adverts on this stuff. It just helps us uh, to do this as a job. Anyway, without further ado, here is what I thought, and it is just me ranting. Poor old Geo, don't get a word in. in. In this segment, but it is an hour long show, in this segment, poor old Geo doesn't get a word in. And this is me having a little, a little ranty poos, if you want, about James Ward Prowse. Substitutes, Massively. we've got three Ben Johnson, James Ward Prowse, and Creswell. I'm going to give Johnson a six, and I'm going to give Ward Prowse and Creswell a five. Oh. I'm going to give Johnson a five. I'm going to give Cresswell a five. I'm going to give James Ward Prowse a three. Oh, yeah. Do you blame him for that chance then? I bloody do. I do. I do. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand, and I don't understand any any of this stuff. I I don't get it. I tell you, I will. I will go on. I I I do not understand why Suchek can finish so expertly, and why his technique is so good. When I, I think the ball coming out of the air to hit on the volley is a harder technique than passing the ball five metres along the ground. I don't understand it. Um, maybe someone can explain it at some point. Just his instinct, bang, kicks in. I don't understand why James Ward-Prowse can't curl that ball into the back of the goal buried in, from 12 yards when he can curl an expert delivery from 30 yards. I, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Uh, I don't understand. I, I remember, and I'm, I don't wish to overly compare James Ward Prowse to David Beckham, but I'm going to do it anyway because you <laughs> right, know, here we go. Because you're dealing with 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 specialist people here. But I remember when James Ward Prowse, sorry, sorry, when David Beckham, David Beckham's speciality was to play on that right hand side, and he never used to overly need to beat his man. Well, he couldn't. He was slow, Beckham. Gary Neville used to overlap him, be it for Man U or, or for England, create a little bit of space. And and he would... Um, hold on. 
It's, ta it's tactics time. Let me let me go. Let me go with the back. Let me go with the back of the board here. No, right? dear. Here we go. Right. Let, let, me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go to the back back of the board. Right. So so is is the, is the football pitch there? Right. 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 You 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 get what's you get what's going on. All right. David Beckham would sort of cross from here, and it'd go whoop like that. Agreed. Yes. Yeah? Agreed. Okay. Yet yeah, what just happened was then what happened is they moved. <laughs> they 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 moved him. <laughs> Can you take this? Can you stop laughing? I'm not um, laughing, I'm smelling that your art. Right, take this seriously. Um anyway. Anyway, right, okay. So what would happen was Real Madrid moved Beckham into here. What would do? We'll use a different we'll use a different colour, right? And then what would happen was David Beckham would sort of operate in this sort of area. And then what he'd do, see that same pass there, he'd basically go whoop, and you'd have the same thing. He's now dictating play. He's swinging from here, he's spraying it there. Sometimes. Sometimes he'd be in that position and he'd even go boop, 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 and he'd drop it in the goal, right? Honestly, right? So he had this range of passing from anywhere on the pitch. What I don't... So you've got the technique, is my point. What I don't understand is why doesn't James Ward-Prowse have that same technique that he uses to take corners and do that other stuff? Why can't he sit in a really good position, deep midfield position sometimes? I know David Moyes is not playing him there. And, and by the way, I'm blaming Moyes for a lot of this. But I just don't understand why his technique deserts him. He, he, he can curl the ball and he can hit the ball so precisely. I bet when they're doing training drills i know they don't actually get the bins out on the training ground but you know that you watch that sky sports thing under the early morning on the before the game soccer, it was like, soccer am yes soccer soccer am they would actually put the wheelie bins in the top um the top corners and jimmy bullard would be there with someone and they would try and curl it in the bin right top bins um i bet james ward prowse can do that better than anyone. I bet I bet when they do that, they don't get the bins out. But whatever they do in training, I bet he's the one doing it all the time. I just don't understand. So I don't understand why he can't do more simple stuff on the football pitch. Um anyway, so, so that's it. Yeah. So James Ward Prowse, I do absolutely blame him for missing that chance. It was a bloody good chance. And I do think, as I mentioned earlier on when we did uh Caduceus player ratings, I do wonder if James Ward Prowse it was the right thing for Caduce to pull it back to him, but I do think afterwards Caduce would have thought, ah, damn it, you know what? I should have, I should have shot, um, you know. And yeah, so uh, the, the trouble is with James Will Prowse. I do, and I, I do have some level of sympathy for him here because I think he's continually played out of position for West, uh, be it on the, the defensive left wing as the holding left winger or the central defensive attacking midfielder. He's not suited to either of them, and, and I think he's becoming the poster boy for what's wrong with what David Moyes does sometimes at the moment. And I think there's always got to be a, a whooping boy. And I know I, I'm, I'm obviously feeding into that now, but it was a bit like last season when uh, Thomas Suchek, you know, when he did he had three games back to back, eight, eight, part, eight successful passes, then he did 11 and 11 successful passes in the game. So what you're looking at, you think, what, why, is, why is stuff going wrong? What was Moyes doing wrong? And, and almost Suchek became a poster boy. Suchek's done a lot better this season. Um, and obviously, you know, he's playing well. It has to be said, he's playing well this season. But I think when you look at that and you look at... So, what I, I think it was like 90, 97 minutes or whatever. I know a lot of that was, was nothing yeah. was happening. But he was brought on in the 83rd minute, Ward Prowse, for him to have four touches. One of them was, was crap as well, by the way. I think ain't great. I know, I know he put the ball over for the, um, for the scramble as well. Okay, well, that, that's that's one of his touches. So one of his touches was to take a free kick. Exactly. Yes, but um, but I just, I just think you know it's it's now he 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 becomes a sim he becomes symbolic, he he becomes a symbol of what David Moyes does wrong, and I I just don't feel we've actually I I don't think we, do you know what I don't even I don't think we've got the best of James Ward Prowse. I don't even think we've got the Southampton James Ward Prowse because he's just asking me. I just I I don't know why David Moyes spent so much time trying to sign him if he's going to play him and deploy him in the way that he is. Um, so three for board pass from Gonzo. I'll stick with my six five five with Johnson getting the six. Moving on to the man you've just been speaking about, then is David Moyes. What you're giving him? This should be interesting. 